Today in our gospel, we hear kind of a familiar setting with Jesus and his apostles, and they are confused by what he said. That's something familiar to us, I think, because it happens all the time. And so what Jesus has said to them is that in a little while, you will no longer see me, that, but then you will see me. And they're like, we don't know what this means. It's, it kind of details the thoughts in their heads, and Jesus knows what they're thinking. So he says back to them, he says, are you discussing with one another what I said a little while and you will not see me? And again, in a little while, you will see me? I can side with the apostles here because that does sound really confusing. Like, I still don't know if we fully know what that means. <laughs> but, but he says to them, amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. So I think, you know, the, what he's trying to get at is that there are going to be times in this world well, like, first of all, he's talking to them about what is about to happen. This is before Jesus' death. So that he is going to go away from them. That he is literally, they won't see him because he will be dead and put into a tomb. But then they will see him because he will be risen from the dead. So that's in one way what he means. But for us, there has there is another meaning there. That there will be moments in this world where we are going to feel like we are abandoned. We're, we're like, where is God? As Christians, we are going to feel probably a lot of grief because I think even in, in moments like now in our culture where we have this culture of death that is so rampant, where people have rejected God on such a large scale, where people really don't, they care more about themselves as individuals rather than as, as a community, as, as a family. Like, and so for us as Christians, that is something to grieve over. That is something that makes us sad. And, you know, so oftentimes I, you know, I just get people who come to me just saying, Lord, I mean, Father, where, not Lord, uh, Father, you know, what is going on? Or, or like, where is the hope in the world? Like, where they, they might feel hopeless. What Jesus says is that, yes, there will be moments where you grieve. And we should grieve for the state of the world but that we don't grieve without the hope of and knowing that Jesus has conquered the world. He has conquered those, those powers that seem to have such power over us and over our world, and that our grief will be turned to joy. That even in the midst of suffering, in the midst of pain, in the midst of all the crazy stuff going on in our own world, that we know that there is going to be a vindication by God that joy will come even through the grief. We do not know how, not totally, but we know that God will do it. Let us take firm trust in that today, trusting that the Lord is going to write these things. We don't know how, but always having hope in him. We can live in hope. That's who we are as a Christian people. Let us remember that today and ask God to increase our hope this day and every day.